So now we're inside one of the wings of our 100-year-old um, uh, gambrel roof uh, historic horse barn. Um, and one of the things you'll notice as you come in, especially during the winter time when this barn is closed up a little bit uh, tighter or when there's a lot of horses housed in here, um, there's a little bit more of a staleness to the air. Uh, it's a little stiller. Right now we have both uh, breezeways open, um, a few windows on the outside open, uh, but that's really the only access we have to fresh air getting inside this barn. So in the winter time, it becomes even more difficult to ensure that there's fresh air. And one of the problems, uh, one of the reasons that we have is as we span up and look at the ceiling, the ceiling is very low and it's very solid. So we actually have hay being stored on top of uh, where the horses are being housed. And this always greatly reduces um, how much ventilation we can give our horses access to. And not only do they need fresh air coming in, but they also need a place for carbon dioxide to leave the facility. Um, as we have more horses in this barn, we'll have more moisture being produced by the horses through their expiration, and we'll have even more of a humid, damp atmosphere uh, inside this barn in the wintertime. As we walk into uh, the stabling area then, the stalls, Actually, um, from a behavioral standpoint, there's a lot of things we like about them. The horses can easily see each other. Um, you almost have developed a herd-like atmosphere. If you have a shy horse, you, that particular horse may actually end up being a little stressed in this type of environment. For, but for the most horse, for the most part, Horses like to feel like they're part of a herd. So the more open we can design our stall fronts, uh, the better uh, from a behavioral stance they're going to be. Uh, another thing that if we had access to fresh air, we would have airflow going through the stalls. Uh, because as you can see, there's, there's spacing um, through that the air can flow through. If we look down on the uh, floor area of the stall, we have an old uh, cement floor. Uh, so to uh, use this um, stall, we wanna make sure we have adequate bedding so that the horses uh, never come in contact uh, with the cement floors. If we come over to our feeders, uh, we can actually feed horses from the outside of the stall. Uh, which is nice. We've got the corner feeder where the hay can come from above and we can put grain through this access area right here. We have a nice plastic uh, tub uh, for them to have access to their grain. All of our horses at MSU are actually watered by hand and we'll talk a little bit more about that when we visit the new barn.